Isaiah chapter 44. Yet listen now, Jacob, my servant in Israel, whom I have chosen. This is what Yahweh who made you and formed you from the womb, who will help you, says, Don't be afraid, Jacob, my servant, and you, Jeshurun, whom I have chosen. For I will pour water on him who is thirsty, and streams on the dry ground. I will pour my spirit on your descendants, and my blessing on your offspring. And they will spring up among the grass, as willows by the water courses. One will say, I am Yahweh's. Another will be called by the name of Jacob, and another will write with his hand to Yahweh, and honor the name of Israel. This is what Yahweh, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, Yahweh of armies, says, I am the first, and I am the last, and besides me there is no God who is like me who will call and will declare it and set it in order for me. Since I established the ancient people, let them declare the things that are coming and that will happen. Don't fear, neither be afraid. Haven't I declared it to you long ago and shown it? You are my witnesses. Is there a God besides me? Indeed, there is not. I don't know any other rock. Everyone who makes a carved image is vain. The things that they delight in will not profit. Their own witnesses don't see nor know that they may be disappointed. Who has fashioned a God or molds an image that is profitable for nothing? Behold, all his fellows will be disappointed, and the workmen are mere men. Let them all be gathered together. Let them stand up. They will fear. They will be put to shame together. The blacksmith takes an axe, works in the coals, fashions it with hammers, and works it with his strong arm. He is hungry, and his strength fails. He drinks no water, and is faint. The carpenter stretches out a line. He marks it out with a pencil. He shapes it with planes. He marks it out with compasses and shapes it like the figure of a man, with the beauty of a man, to reside in a house. He cuts down cedars for himself and takes the cypress and the oak and strengthens for himself one among the trees of the forest. He plants a cypress tree and the rain nourishes it. Then it would be for a man to burn and he takes some of it and warms himself. Yes, he burns it and bakes bread. Yes, he makes a god and worships it. He makes it a carved image and falls down to it. He burns part of it in the fire, but part of it he eats meat. He roasts a roast and is satisfied. Yes, he warms himself and says, Aha, I am warm, I have seen the fire. The rest of it he makes into a god, even his engraved image. He bows down to it and worships and prays to it and says, Deliver me, for you are my god. They don't know, neither do they consider, for he has shut their eyes that they can't see and their hearts that they can't understand. No one thinks, neither is their knowledge nor understanding to say, I have burned part of it in the fire. Yes, I have also baked bread on its coals. I have roasted meat and eaten it. Shall I make the rest of it into an abomination? Shall I bow down to a tree trunk? He feeds on ashes. A deceived heart has turned him aside, and he can't deliver his soul, nor say, Isn't there a lie in my right hand? Remember these things, Jacob and Israel, for you are my servant. I have formed you. You are my servant. Israel, you will not be forgotten by me. I have blotted out as a thick cloud your transgressions and as a cloud your sins. Return to me, for I have redeemed you. Sing, you heavens, for Yahweh has done it. Shout, you lower parts of the earth. Break out into singing, you mountains, O forest, all of your trees, for Yahweh has redeemed Jacob and will glorify himself in Israel. Yahweh, your Redeemer, and he who formed you from the womb says, I am Yahweh, who makes all things, who alone stretches out the heavens, who spreads out the earth by myself who frustrates the signs of the liars, and makes the winners mad, who turns wise men backward, and makes their knowledge foolish, who confirms the word of his servant, and performs the counsel of his messengers, who says of Jerusalem, she will be inhabited, and of the cities of Judah, they will be built, and I will raise up its waste places, who says to the deep, be dry, and I will dry up your rivers, who says of Cyrus, he is my shepherd, and shall perform all my pleasure, even saying of Jerusalem, she will be built, and of the temple, your foundation will be laid,